Fiat presents the new Tipo family first time this year at the Geneva Motor Show. This car is very important for Fiat and they're heading into the market where Dacia is so successful at the moment. Today we're going to drive the car for the very first time. The front of the new Fiat Tipo is dominated by wraparound headlights with daytime LED running lights and the grille, which features chrome inserts that highlight the centrally positioned Fiat logo. From the side, the view is made longer by the slightly sloping roofline and the visual extension of the rear spoiler. These don't just provide the shape of the hatchback, but also the basis for its generous interior space. The wraparound rear lights emphasize the shoulders of the Tipo and serve to emphasize the overall dynamic appearance of the hatchback. Once you get moving, you'll quickly feel at home in the Tipo. The chassis provides good comfort, but saves a little bit more for fun driving. Overall, I'd describe the Tipo as good-natured, but without being boring. The Tipo offers a good mixture of comfort and practicability. And very important for me, it also offers enough space even for people of my size. And I can tell you in this class of cars, that's not always standard. The interior of the Tipo looks tidy and well thought out. This is not just the cockpit or the centrally located air conditioning controls. The up to 7-inch touchscreen display of the infotainment unit you connect also provides a modern impression. With 440 litres of space in the boot, our Tipo has one of the largest rears in its segment, offering more storage space than, for example, the Volkswagen Golf. At 4 meters 35 in length, our hatchback is around 20 centimeters shorter than the estate, but both front and rear passengers still have more than sufficient head and leg room. The interior makes a surprisingly high quality impression for a vehicle in this price range, but of course here and there you'll still find hard plastic where premium vehicles might feature soft touch material or leather. A big decider for the Tipo is clearly its price. The price list starts with a 95 horsepower petrol in the four-door sedan with pop styling at 13,990 euro. Those who like lots of equipment on board will be well served by our test car. It's a 120 horsepower petrol model fitted out in the lounge trim level. List price of our Tipo hatchback with its extensive equipment and almost everything available added is still below 20,000 euro. Our test car features the 120 brake horsepower turbocharged petrol engine combined with a six speed manual gearbox. This package works well for the Tipo. The car drives absolutely smooth and perfectly, and it's a real pleasure to drive even in low revs. total there are three petrol and two diesel engines available for the Fiat Tipo. The entry-level engine is a 1.4-litre four-cylinder petrol producing 95 horsepower. The two additional choices are both turbo diesels of 1.3 or 1.6 litres producing 95 or 120 horsepower respectively. Both impress with good fuel economy and are equipped with a start-stop system. Gear switching depends on engine choice and customer preference. It can either be a manual 5 or 6 speed gearbox or an automatic or dual clutch gearbox. The new Fiat Tipo is not only a good combination out of a nice exterior design and loads of space, it also offers new technology and modern engines. And all that comes to a price where I think the car will not stay long at the dealers waiting for customers.